Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Flo, founder of Effortless Ecom, and today I want to show you the mysterious way of how we can create these collapsible rows in Shopify and uh, connect them dynamically. So this is really important. We want that the t-shirts say one thing. In our case, we're going to do with plants and pots. We want it to show one thing, but a pod show, should show something else um, without using multiple templates and all of that. So what these are is a common trend nowadays. All of the big brands are pretty much using the collapsible rows. It's really optimized for how people browse nowadays. We're mostly skimming. We're not necessarily reading all too much. So we just want to pre-filter all of our text within these little rows. And this way we can just make sure people see what they need when they actually need it. This is coming from True Classic. They're making $250 million a year. But uh, there's even a bigger brand, Hio Smile Teeth. And uh, last year, I think they closed out with over a billion dollar in sales and everything done through Shopify. And they also use these collapsible rows. You can see them here, powerful and effective to clean. What's included. So this is what we're building. We're gonna do it on our demo plant store. This is coming from our community um, that we built specific, specifically for Shopify sellers. You can see it here. This is something that we built where uh, we wanted to have one group of Shopify sellers where we can give you all the support you might ever need in the future, plus trading. For example, here we share ad templates, we share insights, we answer questions. Oh, this one is new. I still have to answer it three minutes ago. Uh, but we also have a classroom where we have actual video courses teaching you how to create perfect product images, the full Shopify success path, teaching you everything from taxes to shipping to all the good stuff and also how we build this exact store that I'm gonna show you how to modify in a second. And most importantly, one of my favorite features, twice a week, we actually, we, we join live calls on uh, Wednesday and Saturday, and uh, I personally were, will answer all of your questions, help you through problems on all of that. Um, everything is included for $25 a month if you're in an annual plan, or $49 a month, you can cancel at any time. Um, I think this is the greatest thing we've built in a long time. And uh, if you're a Shopify seller that wants help sometimes, that's the place to go. But let's go back to what it is we're actually building. So this is the store that we have. I already went ahead and added these collapsible rows. If you don't know how to do this, you can see it under your product information. I'm just gonna make my face a little smaller so we can see what we're editing. Um, you can add a block and then there, if you search for it, they're called collapsible row. And you can see it, you can add it and it gives us the option. It defaults to a check mark, but it gives us the option when we click into it to either use a different icon. They have some uh, presets, uh, preset icons, or we can also just go ahead and say none at the very top, meaning remove all of the icons. And this is what we did for the other ones. I'm going to re remove this one. We don't need this for our test. Let's remove the block. So what I want to connect is we have the care instructions, we have the FAQs, and we have shipping and delivery. Now the big problem that we see often is when you now go ahead and click on one, let's say shipping and delivery, and um, I, or let's do something else, let's do care instructions. It's an easier example. When I click on this and I say, okay, this is a plant, and the care instruction is water twice uh, per week, then, and I save this, then I navigate to the plant pot, which is connected to the same template. This is also the default product. And now when I view the care instructions for the pod, it's actually also gonna say water twice per week, which of course makes no sense. Uh, so we need to find some dynamic way of how can we make sure the plant is saying plant relevant stuff and the pod is saying plant pod relevant stuff. And the solution is not to actually hard code it or hard write it in here but we want to use this dynamic source button and I'm going to show you in a second how to do it. An alternative way would be to create just a different product template, but it will get really messy real soon if you have to create a different product template, even though everything else is the same. It's just these texts that are different. Of course, the product pricing are different, but I want to show you how you can very, very easily connect these data sources um, for the different templates or the different products. To do that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and I add one hard text into the shipping and delivery because in my fake brand, I'm saying that whatever you order, plant, be it plant or a pot, we're always gonna take, let's say, uh, shipping takes two to, let's say, four business days. So this is something that's relevant for all products that we're selling. So this is something we can absolutely put in there. 
because even if we're in the plant, it should still show the same information. But let's do care instructions and FAQ. In order to use this dynamic source button, we need dynamic fields, also called meta fields. To do that, we're gonna exit out of the customizer and now we're gonna go under content and you're already in something called the meta object. That's exactly where we want to go. And now we say add definition and we don't wanna add it to the meta object definition. You wanna go back one because we wanna add it in the product level. So you click on product and now we say add definition and we're gonna add one for the FAQ name FAQ and the description I'm just going to leave empty. We know what it is. Now for a select type, we're going to say this is a rich text. Quick difference, rich text is something we can style. We can use bold text. We can use uh, italicized, whereas the alternative would be a single line text, which is just one line of text or a multi-line text, which is multiple lines of text with, without any styling. It's usually used for product descriptions, something like that. Rich text it's just a way for us to format it and it's also gonna be displayed on Shopify. So I'm gonna show you in a second how that looks. This is the FAQ, let's hit save. And I'm also gonna add another one because we're gonna do the care instruction as well. Care instructions. And uh, this is also gonna be of type rich text. Let's see if I can find it. I can't, so I search it, rich text. Here, leave everything as is, we hit save. And uh, now how to access? the product uh, meta fields. To do that, it's now living under products. So every product now, let's take a look at the plant, uh, the pot. Every product now has at the very bottom, this section called meta fields. And the meta fields now share, show the, FA, the care instruction and the FAQ. This is what we just added. And this allows us now to set custom values for every product. Since this is bound to the product, I can now say, for the meta uh, for the plant pot, we're gonna say this is dishwasher safe, which I'm pretty sure it isn't. I've never seen anyone put their plant pot in a dishwasher, but uh, it's gotta be something obvious so we can see that it's working. And uh, FAQ is gonna be what plants fit. And we can make this bold, as I mentioned, and the answer is gonna be all of our plants fit. And this is just, this is not really good content, but I just want to show you how it works. Yours is going to be better. And then we're going to do for the plant the same. When you scroll to the very bottom, you're going to see these are empty. So now we can say for this, for the plant specifically, care instructions are going to be water twice per week. And for the FAQ is, is this edible? And the answer is no. Again, I'm gonna make this one bold and the other one not, just so we can see it. Okay, now we have the product, we have the meta fields and we have it filled out per product. So all that's left for us to do is now connect the meta fields dynamically to the template in our customizer. To do that, I'm just gonna open up the customizer. We click uh, on customize. I'm gonna go to the product page, default product. It's assigned to two products, you already saw it. And now all we have to do is we click on care instructions. And if you already have text in here, make sure you remove it first. And then we're gonna click this button, connect dynamic source. And you're not gonna see it here. And that's completely normal. Just make sure you click this button on top and say we want it for the product and not for the row. And then once we click the product, you're gonna see care instructions and in FAQ. I'm gonna select care instructions. That's the one that we're editing. And we can already give it a test. If I click on it, water twice per week, that's amazing. And FAQ is gonna be empty, so let's fix that one next. We click on FAQ, we click the dynamic source, we go back to the product level, and now I click on FAQ, and I hit save. And you will see when we preview this now, it's automatically now gonna work for all of our products. The plant we just connected, let's just verify, can instructions saying water twice per week. FAQ is gonna say, is this edible? No, it's not, please don't. Shipping and delivery takes two to four business days. Perfect. But now when we click on the pot, this should automatically work. The care instructions should say dishwasher safe, dishwasher safe, perfect. And the FAQ, what plants fit, all of our plants fit. And this is how you do it. This is how the biggest brands use these fields. It's really a good practice to uh, merge your product description into that the product description requires description requires its own meta field, 
But uh, if you like this type of training, we do this twice a week. You have access to all of this. You'll learn exactly how we build the store, how you can build something similar and uh, everything else that you could need. If you're interested, you can go to our website, effortless-e.com, and then you can get started very easily. Click the button, get started. Join our community, $25 a month, unlimited advice and help from me personally. And if you want to do it monthly, it's $49 a month. Cancel at any time. Um, we're just here to help. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned something. And uh, yeah, happy building.